you guys, welcome back to number six with Cheese Food Reviews. That right there, that's Corey, and I'm Sean. Today, we're gonna do some B-dub stuff. Buffalo Wild Wings launched a brand new sauce, a bullet bourbon barbecue sauce, and they brought back, I believe, hot barbecue. So very pumped, we're gonna get a bunch of boneless wings, try those out, see which one we like. So maybe they're both great. Very, very pumped you were here. Yeah, and you guys are also gonna to wanna to stay to the end of this if you're like a real hardcore fan. We got extra non-sauce boneless wings because number six with cheese is testing out a new variation, a new flavor of hot sauce. Oh yeah. We just got our first samples in uh, like last week, so we're gonna, we haven't touched them yet. This is gonna, be, you're gonna be able to see the first reaction of us trying our uh, first samples of this. So we're gonna, we're gonna take you guys along for the ride, show you what we think, oh, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Saucy day, let's get it. it. Might be raining outside, but it's fiery and hot in here. Let's go. Shh. Okay, you guys, a couple of different barbecue sauces with some boneless wings in that bag, acquired jump cut. A little close up on the wings with a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, check this out. We got a little B-dubs innovation going on here. Have you seen that yet? No, that's clean. That's incredible, dude. I like the little middle shelf for the wings. So what do we got here? This one on the right is the bourbon barbecue. This one on the left is the hot barbecue. That's what they look like, different shades of red. You're seeing it now. Do you remember the absolute travesty that was the packaging system before this? Oh, where it was just like a, a baking sheet in yeah. between every layer. And, but like your hands would get decimated no matter yeah, what, yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. peel it off. You never, they were never labeled right. Oh yeah, it, oh yeah. Glad it took them this long. What took you so long? These are some honking wings too, dude. Look how big that one is. Yeah, it's a good size, good size. Honking means big in my vocabulary. Yeah. Sorry if you didn't follow. <laughs> Why don't you learn some contact clues, guys? Yeah. Follow along, keep do. up, keep up. I'm excited. I'm, these normally mess my stomach up pretty good. Well, I don't know Pop what it up. is. I don't, <laughs> that's what I keep, oh yeah, which one do you want to try? I want to try okay, the new one This is first. the new one, I believe. Let's look it up. To make sure? No, no, definitely. Bourbon barbecue is the new one. Let's check that one out. Yeah. If I was a guess, I would say this is the hot barbecue. That's what I would have thought too. The other one looks more bourbon barbecue. -y. You know what? I don't trust that Ooh. they're putting their stickers in the right spot. Let's look it I'm up. I'm just basing it off of the sticker that's over on this side. And I'm a little skeptical. I'm, this has got to be the bourbon barbecue. There's no way the red, the deeper red, or the brighter red, or whatever. Yeah, it's the dark ones. Okay. So this is the hot barbecue, right? Is that you got that from here? Yeah. Put that piece I'll of crap back. All right. We stand corrected, but it's not your fault. No, it's the stickers. We were trying to rave about it. I don't know if it was my fault. These idiots were here. <laughs> All right, here we go. A little bullet bourbon barbecue. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. What happened over there? I, I took looked, a bite. I looked away. I went, went wild. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. It legitimately actually tastes like the bitterness of bullet whiskey. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I don't think I want in a wing. I, I don't think I do either. The barbecue portion, like flavor profiles I'm getting, I'm like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. But the bullet part, yeah, I don't think I'm super into. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I'm like, yeah. Huh. I'm shocked, one, that the flavor's there. Mm -hmm. But it really, because I actually do drink bullet, because mm. it's like not the cheapest. It's kind of a decent middle ground whiskey. Yep. And I am shocked that it tastes like it. Which, but I'm, once again, I don't think I want it in food. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm gonna try it with some ranch. Maybe that'll kind of help. I'm gonna have some of this uh, hot barbecue. We must have done this. Hot I would barbecue. assume. I don't I would remember assume. it, so you're kind of getting a fresh review. Hmm. Oh wow. Hmm. Hmm. Just because you can make it into food doesn't mean you have to. I am right. not. Thank God for ranch, dude. <laughs> that is not my thing. Think about it. What do people in America want? They want their wings to taste like liquor. <laughs> Who did they, how did they? Uh, keep going, keep going. You know what, I'm intrigued by this. Yeah. You know that thing that everybody drinks and goes, oh, ooh. <laughs> Tell you what, that's not my favorite barbecue, but it's got some heat. It does what it says it's doing. Mm-hmm, sure does. That's better. I'm not repulsed by it. I just don't get the bullet thing. God, there's so many better ideas and better companies they could have partnered with. Yeah, right? You want six or sauce? No, what I want to do is, we got this free bottle of Jets, Dip this half in B Dub's ranch. Yeah. I'm gonna squirt this half with Jets Ranch. And I wanna see if I can tell the difference or which one's better. Jets first. Okay, not good. 
winner. Really? Mm -hmm. You really could tell? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a convenient bottle. A little dollop will do you. These are not bad, but whenever I think of beat ups, for me it's like, are you gonna overtake my regular orders? Exactly. Top three. Yeah, it's not gonna do it for me. No way. These are both skippable. God, of all the things you could have done, brought back, and all the things to make, I just don't get this one. I hope Bullet like sat, just ponied up some dough for this. <laughs> Tell you what, beat ups really did dowsy though. We gotta get rid of some of the sauce, man. Throw it on. We need to get this out of stock. Those guys. Oh, you know. This is one of those things I need a like massive ranch to cover up the flavor. I think I'm all done. I am not getting joy out of this order. Mm -mm. This has honestly made, been the best part mm -hmm. of it. I'm glad Jets got some more promo this week. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing about the bullet is? What? Just the color. That's it. I know. It looks beautiful. That's as close as they got to impressing me. All right, yeah, let's rate it, but you make sure you stick around, huh? Yeah, I definitely do. The fun part of this video is coming. Let's do two scores. First one, bullet bourbon. Second one, buffalo, uh, a hot barbecue. Okay. All right, crank that music. Okay. First one's bullet. First one's bullet. Okay. Second one's hot barbecue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pretty good about these. Cut off the music. All right, Corey, on the count of three, are you ready? I am. Reveal your score out of five for each one. The left version, bullet barbecue, the right version, hot barbecue, one, two, three, ta-da! Oh, is it, we're pretty close on ours, though. Yeah. I did a one and a two five. Yeah, zero. <laughs> I think that was repulsive, and then a two. All right, guys, we're, we're still gonna do our little review, but real quick, just make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then also, we still wanna give you our comment before we get out of here, before we get to the hot sauce that uh, we're, we're creating. What liquor do you want to see be made into a barbecue sauce? Yeah. Comment it, we'll give you ours, and we're gonna have some fun down there in the comment section. But all right, let's get to the fun stuff. On there. All right, there we go. Here's what we're looking like, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and punch in and show you. A little test batch here. All we've got on there is the, the little cool numbers. Looks like a good color. Yeah, it's a great color. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we want to do is make a our version of buffalo sauce. We hate buffalo sauce, we think it's trash. So we want to up the buffalo game, and we're going to bring some sort of buffalo sauce mm -hmm. to the world, and we just think you guys need it. Yeah. Trying to get away from the vinegar bomb thing that became the norm. Mm -hmm. Like the flavor of buffalo can be good, but the vinegar thing, we got to cut it out. So we'll see. I'm a big like consistency texture Ooh, I like guy. I how thick it is. Yeah, same. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Shoney happy already. Yeah. All right. A little uh, buffalo, but our own version. Cheers. It's a dope chef. Oh, wow. Okay. Good start. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I get so nervous when you're trying to taste test. Yeah, it's hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really like this. I, wow, dude, that is, that's spicy. Mm-hmm. We were going for like a four and a half, five out of ten. Because we want to like have it be hot, but we don't want to blow out everybody that wants to have this. You know, you can't go too nuts. Man, I do wish I had a spoon. I kind of want to spoon a little bit of it. What's going on? <laughs> I'm a little hesitant to just put it in my hands. I'm a big touch my eyes guy. Yeah. Like an idiot. I wonder if we have any spoons back there. We're flush with spoons. I figured, that's what I was thinking, I was like, we don't really use those, so I bet they're a ton. Now we're a big soup channel. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is, I think the chicken wing move is great, but I am really excited to just like. I just did a little finger dab. Oh, okay. This is, I'm really impressed. I, I mean, the look of it, the consistency he nailed. It's really solid. The heat comes at the end. A little bit of sweetness. So I believe there's some orange in it. Man, like, and it's, it's just enough spice. I think if you ate like six, 10, 12 of those, that would, that'd be, that'd bomb you a little bit. Taste testing day in the hot sauce making world is my favorite day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is tough to do too, cause like, we don't want it to be, we, it, you know, like a standard, we hate buffalo sauce. Right. So like, make something like buffalo, but make it taste different. I know, exactly. It's a tall task. But I feel like he's nailing it. I think he's just a damn good chef. Yeah, no kidding. We hate watery sauces, so this is really nice too. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to mess around with it a little bit more this week on some stuff and try it out, you know, and just kind of, I know he said he tried it on a sandwich yesterday and really loved it. Really? I can see it being a great just sandwich sauce. Oh, yeah. colored me impressed, dude. I'm super impressed. I hope you guys enjoy a little behind the scenes. We would have just done this without the camera on, so the fact that you guys could join us for this is kind of neat. All right, time to roll out? Yeah, let's get out of here. Thanks for coming along, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, don't forget to comment below what booze you want in your chicken. <laughs> Bye.